All right, people, Catfish Dave here. I come back in here to Caney Creek looking for some skipjack. I found a few skipjack, and now I'm gonna drag my way back. It's October, a transition time of year, and according to years past, there could be some fish in here. Once you get into the fall, these back creeks down here in this Tennessee area that I live in will fill up with bait fish. Big fish will come in here this time of year. I've got some baits out to see if any are here. I'm gonna drag my way back to the ramp, and if I don't get bit, well, I guess this video won't be no hit. But either way, I'm here today looking to see if any catfish are in here to stay. I could throw out a fourth rod to increase the odd, but I'm trying to save my bait for a later date, probably a night trip. I'll take one. Hey, that'd be fun. As long as it was a big one, I would consider it getting her done. Out here in the middle of the day, getting a fish to play. Hey, that's okay. So far, we've been dragging baits about two minutes and we ain't caught jack squat. I believe that's a catfish. Yes, sir, that is a catfish. Yes, sir, yes, sir. There she is. Well, that didn't take too long. Maybe that's a good sign. Maybe I'm here at the right time. I was talking about getting hung up and it kind of looked hung to me. And then I seen that little bit of twitching going on. There's another twitch right there. They are twitching. I might have seen another skipjack break over there. All right, people. Uh, one fish at Caney Creek on the way back to the ramp. That ain't gonna do it for me. I stopped by Burger Station in Kingston. Uh, stopped by Weigel's. Got me some coffee. And uh, I'm down here at Lad Landing Ramp. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of hoping for a flathead. So I'm gonna go to a couple, two or three flathead prone spots over the period of the next two hours. And you know, you can get a blue because they're in here too, but I'm gonna fish flathead prone areas. Just see if I can't score one of those because I don't know the blue cap bite seemed a little dead today. So let's see what goes on with the flatheads. Try to get more than one fish in this stinking video. First thing I'm gonna do, 
get on my Navionics app. And I know where the spot is, but I'm gonna find it here. Okay, I see it there. Drops off from like 26, drops straight over a ledge into 40 foot. One thing I don't like about this section of the river is that it ain't got no current flow. We'll probably be suspending baits. We do seem to have just a little bit of current. That's fine with me. Be the first spot we try. Baits are fresh. Flatheads like that best. Got the old green jacket on. It ain't really cool enough for it yet, but it will be as it gets later on into the night. As the temperature drops, that fog will start coming up. Everything in the boat will start getting soaked. I may have a flathead right there, right there, right there, right there, right there. I believe I got a flathead right there. Oh shit. Oh shit. That fish is just like he's hung on the bottom. That's definitely a flathead right there. Got it. I'm gonna get this other rod out of the way. This is a big fish. This is a big fish right here. Big fish. Yeah, we got one on, boys. We got one on. Oh, yeah. Boy, it's a good fish. He ain't even riled up yet. Kind of feels like being hung up, but it's moving. Oh yeah. We got one on. This might take a while.
I see a tail. It's definitely a flathead. Definitely a flathead. Them flatheads pull hard, man. Like being hung up on the bottom. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We done got what we after. We done got what we after. There he is, there he is, there he is. Oh yeah. He's in the net. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm gonna drop these baits down real quick. We done got a hog daddy. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Just sit right there in that bed. No, don't get don't get riled up. Don't get riled up. Don't, don't get riled up. Oh yeah. Yes, sir. Oh yeah. Big fat, fat, fat daddy. Big old head. Oh, big wide head on that sucker. <laughs> yes, sir. Big wide head on that dude. Yes, sir. I'll tell you what. I was just changing the camera track. And right before I turned the camera on, I seen a hard thump. And that was it. I got the camera turned back on. I was watching that rod and it just slowly started dropping, man. I said, that's it. That's the flathead. I got to take this jacket off for a minute. I wore it for good luck, but it's a little hot out here right now. That's a nice fish. All right, y'all, we done got a picture of this bad boy. This is a big flathead, man. Big flathead. Big, big, wide, big, wide head on this dude, man. That's a fish right there. Oh, yeah. Big, wide head on him. Woo! Yeah! Oh! Look at that big boy. Oh. Oh. There he goes, back down to the deep. All right, people, we got our target fish, big flathead. Uh, I was getting a lot of blues, drifting, dragging, bumping below dams. And the best way for me to get a flathead is just to sit in one good spot. I haven't been doing that a lot. As I was coming out of Caney Creek, dragging, I got that one fish and I didn't get nothing else. I switched game plans. Uh, I needed a flathead since I've been catching so many blues. Uh, I also needed to start fishing at night to pick things up and get me on a good fish. I done that, got a fat cat. I'd say that fat cat's done spooked everything else 
off this ledge trying to pull him in, so I guess I'm going to head in. It took so long to reel that one in, that'll make it a pretty lengthy video. Anytime you say you're going after a flathead and you get a flathead, it's a good night. This is a video. There was fish in the video. That makes it a fishing video. This is Catfish Dave with another one, signing out.